Hello and welcome to IGU tutorial number 2. We'll investigate some commonly used properties of IGU elements as well as some general features of IGU. Now let's add a root, a panel and a button to our scene. We'll investigate some common properties of IGU elements on the inspector view. Let's first investigate enabled property. If enabled property is not checked, then the element and its children won't be drawn on the scene. When passive property is checked, element and its children are drawn on the scene, but they cannot be interacted. There are also scale, rotation and opacity properties. Also, colors of the elements can be changed easily. Label property serves slightly different purposes in different elements. For panel element, it stands for the title of the panel. But in a text field or a button, it stands for the label of the element. You can also add an image to the label. Tooltip property is a useful one. With it, you can guide user by giving small tips about the element. Label width is a property of common form elements such as text field or a slider. You can customize the GUI style properties separately on every element. Last property to investigate is variable name. Variable name is automatically generated uniquely when a new element is created. This variable name represents this element in the iGUI code script file. If you want to change this automatically generated name of the element, be careful about two things. First, the new name you give to the element must be unique through the scene. And you have to change the variable name also in the iGUI code file. Moreover, names of related methods must be changed accordingly. For example, let's add a click event to button 1 by double-clicking on it. Now, let's change the variable name to button 2. Now, we have to edit IGO code script file by changing variable name and method name. IGUI can work with any GUI skin. For example, to use the built-in Unity skin, all you have to do is to select IGU root and change the GUI skin property to none. After now, all elements that we add to the scene will use the built-in Unity skin. As you can see, elements added before the skin change remains unchanged. This enables us to use desired number of different skins in one scene. As an example, to use a custom skin, we'll use the orange GUI skin provided by Unity.
Lastly, as a tip, if iGlue logo at the top of the toolbox is not highlighted, then you cannot do any modifications on iGlue elements on game window. Just click on the logo to highlight it and continue using iGlue. Thanks for listening.